Good morning. This morning we're going to make breakfast in the Instant Pot pressure cooker. Quick and easy using small mason jars. These hold two cups of uh, liquid, but we're not going to fill them up all that far. Um, I'm going to add these ingredients. Some eggs, some tater tots, some cheese, some peach mango salsa, and some bologna that we made from deer and pork meat. You can see that in uh, the link in the video I have below, how we made the deer bologna. But that's what we're going to put together, stacked up in the little mason jars. Then we're going to cook it in the pressure cooker. And this is an instant pot. I'm going to add about a cup and a quarter of water to the instant pot first. Then I'm going to place tater tots in the bottom of each of these mason jars. And these are still frozen, but that's a-okay. Just want to cover the bottom with the tater tots. Next, we're going to crack an egg. two eggs in each jar. I'm just going to poke the yolks so that they kind of come like scrambled eggs. Next we're going to add a couple of cubes of deer bologna or if you like bacon or some other kind of meat or skip the meat, you can do that. We're using this right now because it's fresh. We just made this um, two days ago and we're enjoying the flavors. Now we're going to add a little cheese. You can use shredded cheese or a piece of sliced cheese broken up a little bit to the top of this. Then for a little zip, we're going to add some nice salsa. This is one of my favorites. It's peach mango from Wegmans. And I think it's nice if you don't want something very hot at this time of day. But yet it has a lot of nice flavor to it. Chunks of peaches. Really cool. Then just to top it off. I'm going to add a couple of tater tots. And one more small piece of cheese. This is extra sharp what I'm using, but use your favorite if you're doing this. Okay, I'm just going to put a little topper on these. Just going to put a little piece of foil over top of these. Only to keep the water from getting mixed in. It's not really made to keep pressure out or anything like that. It's just made to keep the water out that circulates around the steam inside of these instant pots. Okay, 
And we're just gonna sit these right into the water. You can actually fit four into here, but I'm gonna make three this morning. You can see they're just sitting in water that's gonna become the steam for the pressure. Okay, then I'm gonna add the lid. The lid says close and open. All you do is match up the arrows and you hear the little tune being played when it's in place. Okay, we're gonna put this on high pressure. And we're gonna change it to five minutes. We don't need much time to cook the eggs. And it starts. You wanna make sure the valve is in pressure cooking mode so that it keeps the pressure in the pot and this little red button will pop up when the pr pressure is built up to the appropriate level. You can hear it starting to work in there. And when, the, when it's ready to go and start cooking, it'll change to five minutes right here. Okay, the pressure has built up and we're starting the countdown of five minutes till breakfast. Okay, the cooking's done and we're going to allow the pressure to release naturally for a few minutes. Okay, the pressure has released naturally. And we're going to open the lid. There's still plenty of steam in there. And there's our three jars. Okay, we're going to take the jars out. Look at that. There's a nice little casserole for breakfast. The eggs look like they cooked perfectly. The cheese melted. And they're hot. The Instant Pot is a great kitchen tool. If you like the way it works and would like to have one, I'll put the link below for you. These are nice little breakfast casseroles to get your day started. So try it. See how easy it is. And enjoy.